Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Album of the Week. Listen, this week's Album of the Week, we're going to keep it in the grunge family because uh, we just went on this run. We might as well keep it on this fucking run. All right, so we covered Soundgarden. We covered Nevermind. We covered... uh, Temple of the Dog. We've covered a couple great fucking albums. We still got more to cover. So the first album I heard was obviously uh, 10, you know, and I liked Pearl Jam. And then Song Garden came along into my life one way or another, and I really took the super unknown. And then I went on the road, and I got to Seattle, and I used to work at a club called Giggles in the U District. And uh, there was a cute little waitress there, a little hippie chick that I used to buy weed from, some rocks from time to time, whatever she had. And after every fucking show, she would always go, what are you doing? And I go, nothing. She goes, do you want to go up and party out with Alice in Chains? I'm like, who the fuck is Alice in Chains? I didn't know fucking Alice in Chains was. I, I, you know, and you're trying to be cool. You're like, oh, I'm busy. I didn't know who the fuck Alice in Chains was. So I asked Josh Wolf that night at the Underground. I go, Josh, who the fuck is Alice in Chains? He goes, you got to listen. They're, they're a band. They're managed by Sue Silva, who used to come to the club all the time. So we knew who Sue Silva was. So when he told me, I'm like, really? And he gave me a cassette tape. And I got to tell you something. It was like a, a recorded cassette tape. He goes, take it with you. And I didn't put it on. I didn't put it on for weeks. And one day I went on the road to Portland, Oregon. It's like a three-hour drive from Seattle. And I put this fucking cassette on. And what I heard, I was blown the fuck away. And the album that he had turned me on to was this one right here. It's called Jar of Flies. I personally think this is a fucking masterpiece, okay? And don't get me wrong. The one before this, Sap. Is fucking tremendous. This is two albums for one. We're not up to sap yet. We'll come back to sap in a few <laughs> weeks. But for right now, we're on fucking Jar of Flies. I listened to this and I was blown the fuck away. The guitar, the guy's voice. I didn't know what the guy's name was. I, you know, I had no fucking notes. There was no line of notes. It was just like the set. I was blown away. And I remember listening to Rotten Apple, but the song that killed me from this album where fucking my man shines on the guitar is I Stay Away. This is a fucking tremendous. This album is nonstop, guys. I'm going to read you the songs on this album. Your fucking assholes are going to pucker. Do you understand me? Let me show you what's on this album right here. This is Allison Chains, Lane Staley, Jerry Cantrell, Sean Kinney, and Mike Inez. Tremendous. They had additional musicians, but who gives a fuck? Some guy in a harmonica. Big fucking deal, all right? <laughs> Written and recorded at London Bridge Studio, Seattle, September 7, 1993 to September 14th. It took a week to tape this album. The songs on here are, you ready for this, motherfuckers? Okay. Side one is this song right here, Rotten Apples. Then we got I Stay Away, Nutshell, No Excuses, and Whale and Wasp. For you guys who don't know, this album is a fucking greatest hits album, right? That first side will fucking, listen, you want to shoot out a fucking one. Don't do heroin and listen to it. Listen to it straight, then do the heroin later. If you want to jump out a window then, you could jump out a window then. Side two is two tremendous songs. Don't follow and swing on this. I don't know what else to fucking tell you guys. This album was something that I put on uh, 20 years ago, maybe. And I started listening to this album again when we made the move from California to New Jersey. And it blew me the fuck away. This album, this song, something from this album is on my computer every fucking day. Something from this album. And don't get me started because the one before this was Sap. And the one after this, I think, is down in a hole album. Dirt. So... You better fucking polish your shoes, cocksuckers, because Alice in Chains does not fuck around. I don't know if you have their music or if you have one of their albums. I don't give a fuck what album you start with, whether it's, uh, what, what is it, Facelift was the first album. Sap is the second one. Jar of Flies. Jar of Flies. Dirt. Dirt. And, then and then the self-titled one. This is a fucking lineup of <laughs> death. This is as strong as Aerosmith's first five fucking albums. So if I was you, I'd get on fucking uh, whatever tonight and order the album, Jar of Flies. Look at that little boy. He looks like little Eddie Bravo right there looking at the fucking flies. And you guys remember, that's Lee looking at the flies. And these flies are the ones I used to get hot. You know why he wrote this album, Jar of Flies? I'm going to tell you why. Because Jerry Cantrell did a science project when he was younger. 
I swear to God, he did a science project when he was younger and he had to keep a, a jar of flies, two jars of flies, one that you fed and one that you didn't feed. And the one that you fed, they reproduce, but they die because they're overcrowding. The other one, so he did it and this is why he called the jar of fucking flies. I think the album cover is fucking brilliant. I got really high one night just at the album cover. And I was like, what the fuck is this? The album is fucking tremendous. You got the insides there, rotten apple, no excuses. Oh my God, pissing on their pictures. This is, guys, if you're not into Alice in Chains, get into Alice in Chains. I don't care, bleed the freak. I don't give a fuck what you get. But if you want to start with fucking uh, Jar of Flies, you wouldn't be doing yourself wrong, cocksuckers. This is it. This is heroin music to the fucking max, cocksuckers. I wish I'd get some number two and write something like this. It'd be fucking brilliant. I love you guys. Thank you for watching Album of the Week. The Album of the Week is Jar of Flies, you bad motherfuckers. Stay black. Have a great week. Uncle Joey loves you. See you next week.